the Navajo Code Talkers means a lot to me personally because of everything that they've done for our nation, helping us win the World War II, and just having them come out here year after year and just letting them know that we still support them. Russell Begay, Navajo Nation President, thank you for being out here celebrating with us, the Code Talkers, true war, war heroes. We still have freedom because of them. We won the war because of them and the language, the great Navajo language. It's a great program and great to see our young Marines really following the footstep of these heroes. So thank you. So my job here, I feel like, is to go out and get these young Marines excited about learning the history behind these veterans and their families and what they've all experienced as a nation, as a Navajo nation, and showing them that we should still be thankful for all the things that they've done, even if their sacrifices which they were made many years ago, they've still sacrificed every day since then. February 19, 1945, 09, uh, 9.30, I think it was, when they hit the beach. Eight, eight coat talkers, a different uh, unit, uh, like Battalion 28th Regiment landed on the foot of Serpachi on the Green Beach, and we landed on Red one and red two, that's where I was. And we set up communication and then at the same time, other people were busy, other people were trying to dig out. <laughs> but I made it, and at the same time, we lost two court tackles. <laughs> The story of the Navajo Code Talkers is uh, patriotism, number one. Number two, we represent uh, America, not just Navajo Marines, you know. I'm here with Miss Northern Navajo Teen for 2017-2018, Kalia. So can you tell me a little bit about your role here at the Navajo Code Talker Day? I just represent our people as a young Navajo woman. Uh, speaking our language and teaching the younger generation to really learn our language because it's very important to us. So how would you say keeping the culture alive and well among the youth has really has affected their lifestyle and affected their viewpoints on the reservation? Well keeping the language alive or sooner or later you start catching on every like all the words and Pretty soon you start to understand what your parents are saying to you or your grandparents and you can finally make the sentences and talk back to them. So tell me about some of your traditional clothing that you're wearing. Like what's some of the symbolism or the meaning that you have for it? Well the turquoise is like your protection. Your earrings would be like like watch what you hear. Um, so what are your like these oh, my ribbons? Yes. So in our Young Marines program for each ribbon we earn it goes behind a skill so some of the things some of my favorite ribbons actually is my personal achievement ribbon uh, with the Eagle Globe and Anchor for we traveled I traveled with a couple of other young Marines and we went to Iwo Jima and our hike up Mount Suribachi where they had the famous flag raising this is when I earned this ribbon thank you for taking your time to talk with me about your culture about the Navajo culture this is Young Marine Sergeant Major Lauren Loria signing off for Young Marine News Network.